Today I'm firing up the Weber kettle with the slow and sear, and I'm gonna be making some beef short ribs that we're gonna turn into smoked beef short rib sliders. So today I'm gonna to be doing about four pounds of these beef short ribs. I've got about half of them out here to rub up for you and I'll get the others rubbed up in a little bit. First, let's just go ahead and hit these with our rub. I'm gonna be using Bob's Smokin' Southern Barbecue All-Purpose Rub, I really like this. I'm gonna start hitting everybody. Get every side. Don't worry about the bone side too much. Now these are USDA Choice Beef Short Ribs. I found that actually for short ribs, Choice is really good. You can spend the money for Prime or even go like Wagyu or something like that. But the Choice Beef Short Ribs do a fine job when you're gonna be taking the meat off and using it for something else. All right, these are looking good. I'll get the rest of them rubbed up. Then we'll head out to the Weber kettle and fire up the slow and sear. All right, the Weber kettle's coming up to temp. We're gonna go ahead and get these beef short ribs on. We're going bone side down. I'm gonna put a piece of post oak on here for some smoke today. All right, we've got good smoke starting with that post oak. Let's get our lid on and get cooking. My top vent today is set at approximately two-thirds open, and my bottom vent is also set at the two-thirds open mark. So the temperature I'm going for today is 250 to 275 degrees. Somewhere in that range will be perfect for this. I'll adjust the vents as needed as we go along. I don't have an internal temperature probe on any of these short ribs. They're just so small in terms of the thickness of the meat that you're really not gonna get an always accurate temperature that way. You can put one in there if you really want to, but I find this is better to go with time and probe for tenderness with an instant read thermometer. I'll be using the Thermapen to do that. In about two hours, we'll come back out here and check these, see if we need to add any more wood, see if we need to spritz, and see how we're doing. So I'll see you in about two hours. All right, we've been going about two hours. You can see our pit temp's about 279. It raced up to like 290-ish. A while ago, adjusted the vents, so let's see how tender these short ribs are. I don't know if there's anything more beautiful than a beef short rib on the grill. It just looks gorgeous. It's like a meat popsicle, like brisket with a handle. So let's see how we're doing with uh, temperature and tenderness. Let's go with this guy right here. Just get a temp on him. So we're showing about 173 on this one. Let's see if I can get one here where you can see the reading. See, that's showing 171. So we're all in that 170 range. And you know, they're starting to get tender, but they're not there yet. But it is at the stage now where I am gonna put these in foil pan with some mixture of apple juice and water, cover it up and let those go to cook a little bit more to tenderness. Go ahead and spritz these, and this is that 50-50 mix of water and apple juice. I'm gonna give a very heavy spray here because I want a lot of liquid in there, and I'm gonna actually pour some in as soon as we're spritzed on top. Pour a little bit into our pan. That's maybe a quarter cup in there. And I'm gonna get the foil on. All right, let's get this back on the kettle. Gonna get the lid on, let this keep cooking. We're gonna check it in about an hour. All right, these short ribs have been in the foil pan for about an hour. Let's get a look at them. So they're looking good and smelling great here. I just wanna probe for some tenderness. Those are looking good. I'm gonna put these back on the grill in the pan with a little bit of smoke rolling so we can try and generate a little bit more smoke flavor as much as we possibly can with this moisture in here. Gonna 
gonna put another piece of post oak down here. All right, we're gonna get our lid on, and let these finish up. We'll check them probably in about 45 minutes. All right, we are at four hours. I wanna check these for tenderness, see about how long we might have left. Those are some good looking short ribs. That bark developed nicely even after we had it wrapped in the foil pan. You know, I'm just gonna probe for tenderness here. I'm not going for temperature. They're feeling pretty good. Not quite. I'm gonna say another, I don't know, 45 minutes. I'm gonna get the lid back on. We'll come back out here in 45 minutes and check them and I think we're probably gonna be done then. That'll be almost five hours. All right, we were at four hours and 45 minutes. Let's see how we're doing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, let's, yeah. <laughs> we are tender. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these off of here, get them inside. They're gonna rest for a few minutes, and then we're gonna make our smoked short rib sliders. All right, here we go. I've got three of the short ribs I picked out here. They're just absolutely gorgeous. These are three I'm gonna break down. I'm only gonna make a couple sliders and the rest we'll use later. But right now, oh, just look at these. I'm just gonna take my slicing knife. Yeah, I know it looks a little bit overkill, but it makes me feel like a ninja. I'm just gonna slice along the bone there to get this whole top section of meat off. And there's still a lot of good meat on here. We're not gonna get rid of this. This is gonna be saved, don't worry. Finish slicing our Nice slabs of short rib. Now that I have these sections, I want to slice them down a little more to fit into the sliders. Oh. Go on this one right here. Look at that nice bark. Oh. That's plenty. It's more than I need actually for a couple sliders, but let's build these sliders. All right, so I have two Hawaiian bun bottoms here that have been toasted, and these are what we're gonna build our sliders on. So I'm gonna take one of those beautiful pieces of short rib, great bark on it. I hope you can see it in the camera here. The smoke ring really developed well, hoping to get a good taste of that post oak. On top of this, I'm gonna put some horseradish mayonnaise. All this is is one tablespoon of mayonnaise mixed with one tablespoon of prepared horseradish. A little bit on each one. Spread it around. Then here I have some julienne dill slices. Just for an extra little bit of zing when you bite into it. Finally, we're gonna top our smoked beef short rib sliders. It's time to taste. All right, here we go. Beautiful little beef short rib slider. I'm really looking forward to biting into this. I love short ribs. They're not always easy to find, and a lot of times you'll get ones that don't have a lot of meat on them. And they always look like they're not gonna have a lot of meat until they start cooking and they puff up and you get that development of that fat and that beef together and it's just beautiful and here we go. I think I gripped. Oh man, that's just really nice. That is just really tasty. You could just take the short rib and eat it straight off the bone, I know, but to do something like this, it's just a nice little presentation of it and it tastes awesome. The horseradish mayo works really well with this. The little julienne pickles work really well with it. That toasted Hawaiian roll works well. But man, come on. Beef short rib, that is what this is about and it is just amazing. Great tenderness, great smoke flavor from that post oak. I gotta say, every time I do beef with post oak, it makes me wanna do beef the next time with post oak because it just works so well with it. Really nice smoke ring, really nice bark developed. And I'm a little surprised because we only did that first two hours before we put it in the foil pan and it really did develop well in that time. No complaints there. Mm. So yes, you can take beef short ribs and treat them just like I said at the beginning, like brisket on a stick. But I gotta tell you, doing something like this every once in a while is a nice change. Even if it is a little messy and you drip all over yourself.